Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the SMA21 plus delta percent indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the SMA21 plus delta percent indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 49 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 531 indicators with 226 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the SMA21 plus Delta Percent indicator, and you can see it here on screen. Basically, it is a smooth moving average uh, with some other calculations um, also uh, integrated into it to change the way it kind of plots on screen. And so the setup on this is um, like we've tested many other uh, moving averages. It is going to be a price action break. So when price action breaks below the moving average, then we are going to go short. That is a sell signal. When it breaks up above the moving average, then that is a buy and we will be going long. So let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All right, so the first signal that we picked up was a long signal. It went up a little bit, but then turned around and dropped back down, barely crossing over the moving average to the downside, giving us a short signal. And then it almost immediately pops back up over that moving average, giving us a long signal. That one pushes up nicely, getting us to take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. 
All right, so we pick up a short signal right here on this one. Price action pushes down, getting us to take profit. Then we pick up a long here, but immediately on the next handle, it reverses pushing down and crossing down below the moving average, giving us a short signal. That does move down nicely, getting us to take profit, and then it pops back up to the upside here over top that moving average, giving us this long signal. That pushes up really nice, getting us to take profit on that one. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing that way things don't get too long and we will pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that puts us at the end of the year right there. Before we add these up, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below, as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel, where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, trading philosophy in general. Our admin, Jay, and some of the regular members post regular market analysis, where they put up screenshots of charts where they've marked out areas of support and resistance, indicators that they're using, exactly when they're entering trades, exiting trades, taking profits, the whole deal. They're growing small accounts really quickly with the information that they're putting out for everyone to see. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that we have recently had transferred over into an Excel sheet. And so you'll get access to the Excel sheet and the PDF of all the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners which ones were losers as well as their win rates and you'll get access to a excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners which ones were losers their win rates as well as links to go back and review those individual videos and another new thing that we've been doing here recently is one of our other members has put together a small handful of profitable optimized indicators that we are giving away to all the patrons for free so there is a ton of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all i highly recommend it all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here pull this back get everything in focus all right let's go ahead and count these out and see what we get out of this so we have one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have 20 trades all together. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 winning trades. And so that is going to put us right at the 60% criteria. Um, this one did relatively decent uh for being a moving average normally moving averages don't do very well i think there's only been one or two other moving averages uh that did um close to right at or a little over the 60 percent marker and so uh yeah all in all not a bad indicator did 20 signals in a year and so that's decent as well if we could uh if we could filter out a few of these false signals definitely bump up that win rate uh, excuse me a decent amount more uh, then it would be even better but yeah all in all not too bad this one is going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here 